Listen, I'm gonna have to rate you guys before you- Wait, no, they're all disappearing. Cranon! Cranon! No! Oh, no! 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 Obviously, Blizzard has decided to shut us down. And guys, we are back at the garrison. For, I think, one of the first Horde Transmog competitions on the U.S. here that I've done in a long time. Let's start with Green Boy right over here. Okay, Valandro Defiler's in. Oh, shit. What the fuck is your belt? Oh, you're gonna use the two mythic, uh, th those are the mythic axes from, uh, what's that? Uh, Hellfire Citadel, uh, from Fellward Zakoon. The boots right there are from LFR. Uh, that's LFR and Taurus boots for, uh, Death Knights. The gloves there are the fucking warrior gloves for Tomb of Sargeras. The shoulders are from Heroic, um, Blackrock Foundry. What the fuck are you thinking? And then the, sh the chest piece also is from LFR. A a it's LFR and Taurus, and the legs are from 8.2, the just random fucking benthic gear. And what is with this belt? What the fuck are you doing? All right, let's see the mount. Come on. You've got to have a good mount for this, right? All right, get off. Get off the mount. Get off. Get off, get off, get, 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 If you had to rate your transmog 1 out of 10, what would you rate it? If you had to rate it, I would go with like a solid 7. That's about twice as much as I would rate. Like the belt alone, you know what the belt looks like? It looks like in an old, very low budget animated t cartoon where you obviously knew what was going to change in the scene because it was animated and colored completely differently from the entire rest of the set. That's what your belt looks like. It's garbage. Next. Sithandria the Elite Demon Hunter. I stream on Twitch, by the way. Okay. So this is probably the most demonic Christmas tree I've ever seen. We've got the shoulders right there and I believe also the legs. Both of these items are from, uh, I, I think that could be the, uh, the Nighthold Mythic set. The weapons, obviously, uh, one of them, they're both from the challenge modes from, uh, uh, Legion, uh, the Order Hall. Uh, that tabard right there is actually a Legion. I believe that is the Cruel, uh, it might be Cruel Gladiator's tabard, and it's red, which means it's for Horde only. Very rare, very few people have this. All of the rest of the pieces, obviously the belt right there, I think it's from the Class Order Hall set. Those gloves there, I think, are also from... This is all Demon Hunter set from Legion, basically. Like, that's all it comes down to. This is pretty good. I think the boots are a little bit odd, but everything else is good. And this cloak right here is also, I think, one of the Gladiator's cloaks from uh, from Legion as well. It looks quite good. All right, Sithandria. Go ahead. So... This guy is waiting on Legion Classic. Aren't we all? What do you guys think? I think this is okay, but this is what my honest opinion is. I think that you're flexing. I think that you're flexing that tabard, and you're holding your transmog set back because you want to brag that you got a tabard back in Legion for PvP. I don't think the tabard matches the rest of your set. I think it's completely out of place. And to be honest with you, if you want to go with a multicolored transmog, I think it would make a lot more sense if both of your weapons were green in order to offset the fully red mount, wouldn't it? Because both of your armor, all of your armor is both colors as well. I see what you're trying to do, but this is kind of a scuffed Christmas tree, isn't it, right? His pet is green. Yeah, that's why I didn't really like the mount. Yeah, it's okay. This is a decent try, Sithandry, okay? This guy's been watching my stream for probably like five years. I want to do the weapons like this. I think it's badass. I think the weapons are badass. It's just the mount doesn't really fit that well. Nice try. This is a good, good, good try. Absolutely a good try. Let's go to the next one. Decent enough. Yeah, the pet did save it, but it's like the old Inferno. Like this Inferno, this Inferno came from Warcraft 3, okay? Like, let's be honest. Oh, wow. Scarab Lord? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit, he's got Tyrael and Scarab Lord? 
What the fuck? I don't even care about your transmog. The transmog looks really good, though. Let's be honest. This is a little bit of the Nightborn heritage armor. The shoulders and the belt there. I like that. The weapons look pretty cool, too. I think those weapons are from, uh, not just weapons from fucking Burning Crusade or something. I don't remember it exactly. But this, this, this set, I think, does look pretty decent. What do you guys think? Yeah, this looks really nice. Yeah, is this Merciless Gladiator? I think it could be. Let me go ahead and double check. Yes, it is. You're right. It's got that purple enchant directly on it. This looks good. All right, let's see your mount. I'm going to be real, guys. Seeing a scarab board, a real scarab board, right? Like an actual fucking real from back in the day scarab board. This guy got Realm First 85 Mage. He's got Obsidian Slayer. Look at this. Oh, he's got the new mount, too. Holy shit. I'm scuffed. It's okay. Wait, how are you scuffed? You got it on an old... You stole it on a new server, didn't you? you uh, how did you get it? Wrath of the Witch King Scarab Board, but I still got it legit. Oh my god, bro. He got it legit in Wrath of the Lich King. Yep. Let's go back to the next one. And this mount, by the way, is worth like five or $10,000, just so anybody doesn't know. There's no way this is actually your set, is it? This isn't your set. This is a... F Death Lord Kids from the, gid the Guild Dark Lords. Okay. So... Alright. So this guy is very, very edgy. He is one of the edgiest people we've ever seen. Look at this set right here. He's got the Mythic uh, Nighthold set for DKs. Those are the shoulders, gloves, and boots right there. Tumor Sargeras set, the belt and the uh, and the legs there. The tabard there, by the way, this tabard, if I remember right, is either the Grievous or the Prideful Gladiator's tabard. This guy's a PvPer, and the skull that comes through the front means he's also using the Tomb of Sargeras DK set as well, with, of course, Shadowmorn and the Laughing Skull helmet. We like that. That looks pretty decent. Yeah, it looks nice. He's a PvPer. He's an old school PvPer. He's had it for quite a while. This guy is a huge edge lord. I cannot wait to see what mount you have. Let's go. Let's see it. Go on ahead. I think the chest piece is cool. The original Arcarus de uh, Death's uh, fucking Death Charger, whatever it is. I'm gonna be honest. I think it sucks. I think it's too low res for the rest of your gear. And this is a cool mount, but it's so low res compared to everything else that you have that it really stands out as not being as good as I remember it. Like, this is actually killing my nostalgia for DKs just by looking at how bad that mount looks like. So you're ruining the game not only for yourself, but for me too. Thank you. Nice try, kids. Better luck next time. I kind of like this. I'm going to be honest, I really kind of like this. So shoulders right there are, are some of the Azerite shoulders from BFA. The chest piece there comes from Old Deer. Both of these axes here, this guy had restraint. He did not use Shadow Morn, he used Shadow's Edge, which was the epic version of it. The leggings are also from Old Deer. I like that a lot. The chest piece, I don't even know what tabard this is. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't know what tabard this is. Tabard of the Wild Hunt. You know why I don't know what it is? Because nobody's ever fucking used it before. I'm gonna be honest. I think this is an incredibly clean and well put together set. Now, is this a set that's a winner? Is this a winner's transmog? It's very hard for me to say yes to that. But I could say that this is a quality set, very well put together, if you have a mount that works well enough. I'm broke, mount is shit. Okay, get off. Get off that piece of shit. So what mount would you use if you weren't broke? Would it be? Would it do? What it is? Invincible never dropped? And thank God for that, because it would have looked even shittier than the one that you got on. Try something more clean and less fucking, uh, well, less, less pixel soup-ish, okay? Like, yeah, thank God it didn't drop. Jesus, can you imagine that? Him ruining Invincible's name by getting on it in that time. Oh my God! This is awful. Dancing, nice try. Your armor is very good. I really like it, even though some of my chat doesn't. They don't know what they're talking about. I think it's really good. However, I do think that your uh, mount needs work. Wow, great game. The Proud. From the Guild Without Warning. 
Okay. I really like the I, I really like the candle on his head. The chess piece right there, that's from uh that that is from uh, Old War. That is, I think, the priest tier set from Old War. The shoulders are obviously some of the 9.1 shoulders and also the sh uh, uh, the the back piece there, whatever you want to fucking call that. This staff right here. This staff is one of the new staves from, obviously, the new raid. I think that we've all seen this many times before at this point if you play the game with one of the Necro Ward enchants on it. I think this is kind of an interesting set. It's different. It's unique. It's something that we don't see a lot, but I don't really know if it's worth giving a placement to. Let's see them out. Come on. Wow. It's a thing. This is one of the new things that has been added in uh, 9.2. Uh, now, as you can see, what is this? This is what they call a Wombata. Now, what is a Wombata? Nobody fucking knows. Why is this thing on its nose? Nobody fucking knows. And you know what else I don't fucking know? Why you decided to get on it. This vaguely matches the, um, the, like the skin of this vaguely matches your armor. But for the most part, I don't really think this is that good of a match. I'm going to be totally honest. It's just not that great. 9.2 texture, by the way. Yeah, it's got 9.2 pixels on it. That's exactly right. Wow, great game. The Proud. This one looks okay, but it's not that good either. Yeah, you should have gone with that. That one looks a little bit better, but it's still not that good. You've got to go with something a little bit better. The candle on the head was a very, um, it, it was a very, what's the word for this? Um, very avant-garde decision to make. Now, I respect it, but it wasn't good enough. Add blocks, LOL. The class order hall belt for mages, I believe. I'm not sure about that. The necro lord shoulders, one of the original helmets, and then that chest piece right there is actually a tier set for mages. That staff there is one of the artifact weapons, and I believe that's Ebonshill, if I remember correctly. I actually think this is really good. Straight up, I think the shoulders with that helmet is actually fucking lit. The chest piece is from ICC, I believe. And I think actually, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's an ICC chess piece. I believe I could be wrong. The belt does clip in, which is a problem, but I will forgive it because of how much I like the rest of the set. I think this is pretty cool, man. I do. I like it a lot. It gives Bloodborne vibes. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, the, the wrists fit really well. Everything about this looks really good. This guy looks like an undead pimp. All right. Let's go. Base undead horse. Oh. I feel like it's good, but I think that this mount, right, the Corrupted Firehawk, is such an extravagant, large mount. And I think what I liked about this set a lot is the fact that it was very subdued. It's like this guy was a pimp, but he's not a high class pimp. He's a pimp who makes do with what he has. You know what I mean? Like he's a little bit tattered. He's a little bit frayed, but he does what he needs to do. He's a dirty pimp. Exactly. And I feel like this mount is just too... It, 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 it's too grandiose. I, it, it's like it's like this guy. It, it's like he's wearing clothes from Goodwill, and he's like driving around in a Lamborghini. Like that's just it, it's a weird thing. He's a low tier pimp, exactly. It's just nah, it's not really that thing. Swift Love Lord, Swift Lovebird would be great. Yeah, something like that. Violent Hawk. I hate this fucking mount. This mount's so stupid. Listen, Adblock, you've got a great transmog. Your mount decision was not ideal. I'm going to be honest. I think that looks really good. What do you guys think? Like, straight up Rivendare's Death Charger. I think the purple one would look better. Stop, man. It's pixely? Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Because some of its other sets are pixely, too. Yeah, I, I think that's good. Let's go to the next one. Apple sauced the Seeker. Hey, Zach. Could you shout out my buddy Josh? He's a big fan. Shout out to Josh. So, why did you decide to go with those fist weapons instead of the fist weapons that dropped into trash mobs in Hygel? Why did you decide to go with the fists of Alar? Instead of the obviously better matching fist weapons that dropped in Hygel? Tell me why. No, no, not sad face. I want to know why. 
My PvP. I'm a casual? Okay, that's more like it. Alright, listen. I'm gonna be honest, man. I think the, uh, the kilt there, it doesn't really match that well. The gloves are very much out of place. The fist weapons are, in my opinion, very, very, very much out of place. The shoulders and the glove from the Legion Shaman set, as well as the belt, I think that's decent enough. But you need to have something else that went with the earth and tone. There's nothing about a firebird that says the earth, okay? Uh, the helmet there, I think, also looks pretty good. But in general, I just don't think it's that great, man. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's that great. It's decent, but that's it. All right, let's see your mount, Ashes of Alar. No. Ah, man. Oh, ooh. Oh, ooh. what? Oh, my God, bro. Like, what is this? Like, what are you doing, man? Like, uh. Apple's... It's just a... Bro, I just... I don't think... Like, this is honestly probably one of the worst ones I've seen in a long time, man. Like, it, it really is. Yep, go ahead. You know, you know what the you know what the problem is? What? And I, I see this so, so much, okay? Yeah. It, PvPers... Are, yeah. They're either they always have either the coolest or the shittiest trans And they always because, play girl characters. Yep. And it's so weird because you you would think like PvPers wouldn't be so fucking lazy because they spend What else all are they going to do? Well, I mean, yeah. they spend most of the time sitting in the queue, right, for arenas. Yeah. They they could be doing like fucking, I don't know, runs uh, for transmog. It's like don't let you being a PvPer be an excuse to have a bad transmog, okay? It's you embarrassing. Would... It's not an excuse. It's horrible, okay? Thank you. Thank you. At least somebody fucking says it. Are we accused of three seconds? Yeah, and you have to sit in the waiting room for fucking a minute. So you've got plenty of time here, okay? All right. So listen, you did what you could. Think about it like this, Applesauce. It can only get better. Count Haculus. Let me tell you what you have, what you're doing wrong. So, the shoulders are too high res, in my opinion. Those are the Oluwar shoulders for warriors, and they are way too fucking high res for these pixel soup fucking sticks. I'm gonna be, I think that they're way, way, way too high. Same with these gloves and these, uh, uh, sorry, these, uh, legs and these boots here. These are both from, um, uh, where are these from? They're from ZA. So, I don't really think they work very well. The gloves, I think, are also from Old War. The chest piece there comes from Wrath of the Lich King, or I think Cat. I forgot which one exactly. And the belt, for some reason, you have, wait, why do you have, wait, what, what the, the why are you, what are you doing with this belt? What Weird. is this? What, what are you doing? Did, where did he think the green was? Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> what are you doing? It doesn't even match. Like, the color doesn't match. The theme doesn't match. What the fuck are you doing? All right, let's see your mount. Come on, Caculus. Hurry up. My back? All right, what's, what, what's your back piece? It matches the green on his back. Okay. So you're using Ren's Stalwart Hound, is that the right one? No, it's the Quinoshu's Eternal Hound, excuse me. Uh, this is one of the new mounts added in 8.3. So I've got to say that I do think this mount does make the shoulders make more sense. It does. Like, credit where credit is due, you went from being a 5 to being a 4 to being back to a 5.5. 10 of 10 for logs. Uh, your logs are very high. Uh... I don't know about that, man. I, I, I'm going to press X to doubt on that one. Yeah, it, it's just, uh, I think you have two logs here, and those are the only two that you have. All the rest of your logs are going to be the same color as your weapons. Thanks for coming, Caculus. You did your best, and think about it like this. It can't get worse. Karma the Elite Paladin. He says, I love you, McConnell. Wow, I, I'm rocking that title too, man, because I got 2,400 in arenas with Grayson and Flop. That's right. That's cool. I, I'm rocking the Immortal title because I got it in Wrath of the Lich King. Do you have that Wait, one? who? Wait, who? The Immortal. No, who asked, bitch? Shut up. All right, so Karma's got right here. So this weapon, a lot of people don't really use this weapon, but uh, this weapon is actually quite rare. This is for prestige levels in honor for the artifact appearance for Prop Paladin. This is a very rare shield. I like it a lot. I do. I actually think it's great. 
And uh, the truth is, the boots and the chess piece here, I don't really know about that. Those are the Mythic Blackrock Foundry set for Warriors. We always see those. The leggings there, that's the uh, Patch 8.3 Warrior or Plate Wearer set from Nylotha. And the belt there comes from the same place. I think actually it's from the PvP set because it's the Elite PvP set. I could be wrong, however. I don't think I am. Karma, this is a pretty good set. I'm going to be honest. You're a PvPer. Give me a second before I think. I want to think about what mount you're going to get on. All right. Oh, man. All right. All right. That's okay. Uh, this is the... I, I, all right. So this is the new Gladiator mount. This is a brand new yeah. Gladiator mount. This is a flex. Absolutely a flex mount. All right. We're playing on Horde, okay? These people love flexing. That's all they do. So bringing out the big guns. I don't have this one. You guys keep that in mind. I do not have this new Gladiator mount. I'm not even 2400 yet. McConnell was right. But the fact is that uh, I don't really think it fits that well with the set. What do you guys think? What? You know what my opinion is? Get on the season two one. You mean one season one? No, season two. It matches no, her eyes. Two is... It matches her eyes. No. It matches her eyes, and then the silver armor is gonna match the uh, the armor on the shield. That's not enough, I don't think. I, I think it is. Yeah, tr get on season two. You you do have season two, right? Yeah, I mean you have that, right? I mean, hundred percent, you've got that one too. What do you guys think? I think this one looks better, personally. Yeah, no, no, you guys. All right, everybody I, fucking I disagrees. I told you. I told you. Okay, yeah, I, sure. Yo, try, try season one if you have it. Uh, season one. It's got red eyes though. Like I don't know. It's, it's got red eyes. It's all black. Like you know what I think would be really good is ferocious gladiators. Uh, fucking uh, storm drake. Like, the red one from Season 2, oh, yes. I think. Yeah, yeah, or maybe it was Fear Squad, dude, or I forgot which one. Like, one of those would be Liddy on a stack. But this one, it's like, yeah. Like, actually, you know what? Season 1, I think, McConnell, you're right. I think Season 1 does look way better. I know. Yeah. It's, season 1, yeah, this one does look pretty good. All right. You know what? We, we've got to rate you on the first one you get on. That's what we always say. But the fact is that I think this one looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Good job, Karma. Decent enough. Red's still better. Yeah, I mean, it looks so nerdy. Yeah, this this is a good one. First one's good, too. Yeah, I thought the other one was going to look better. I don't really... I guess not. Good try. M, uh, everyone asks where easy is, but nobody asks how easy is. Well, how are you? Uh, I, I've been better, honestly, but, you know, it's, you just take it day by day. Yeah, it's just about right, isn't it? Yep. Let's look at this set. I'm gonna be honest. I think this is fucking awesome. I really, really, really like this set. So I believe these boots are the Venthyr boots. Actually, maybe they're either the Venthyr or they could be, I, I think, actually, never mind. They are the Heritage boots for Blood Elves. And the chest piece is the same thing. And I also really kind of like the uh, the underneath armor from that, too. Shoulders are, of course, the shoulders you get from uh, Tomb of... Uh, not Tomb of Sarkaris. What the fuck am I thinking? Torghast. Uh, from Adamant Vaults. And gloves and the leggings here. I really like the leggings. Boots are not Heritage. Man. Really? What are they? Let me go back and double check Those here. Are I know where oh, those I are was from. right. I was right the first time. No, I was I was right. It was a fucking it was a fucking Venthyr boots. Like yeah, I, I, Venthyr. I was fucking right. Like I, I second guess myself. I never never second guess yourself. Never. All right. So the legs and the gloves there are obviously from the BFA plate dungeon gear. I really like that. And this weapon is such a good choice. I think this is an incredibly well put together set. Yes. And I like it a lot. Like the cloak is good. Everything about this is good. I love those, uh, like that, uh, that kilt that they have, and I never see anybody fucking use it. So I'm glad to see that. Please get on a good mount. Please, please, please get on a good mount. The more I look at this, the more I like it. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. The shoulders really tie it to. Hmm. The bronze courser. Hmm. You know what? It matches the the shoulders. I think it works. My mount collection is bad. Yeah, I think this is okay. To be honest, 
this could very well be, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this could very well be a lighting difference. Like if I was in AQ or I was in Iron Forge or something like that or Orgrimmar, this set with that mount might look completely different and way better. Because the fact is that the lighting, the colors are the exact same. And the colors work incredibly well. However, that they're a little bit off. And I think if the lighting was different, it would look really good. So you know what? This is actually good. I like it. It's good. Yeah, no enchant on the mace. Yeah, nobody uses that fucking mace. And I can appreciate somebody who likes to try things different. And I'm impressed by it. I'll say that for Yo, sure. What color is the gem in the chest? It's green. Is it? Yeah. Ah, uh, damn. I was yeah. going to say, it, it kind of looks like it matched the eyes. No, you know that would mean? be fucking badass. Yeah, it does yeah. not. Yeah, I, I do think this is a really good set, though. Good job. Postmaster Penetrated. Well, I, I, I think this is fucking awesome. I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I really no, you, like no. this a lot. No. I fucking love this. Like, you like this the ball stack taggers, dude? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think they're fucking hilarious. They're amazing. Like, you've got the ball sack daggers going on. You've got the fucking Necro Lord armor. You've got, I think, this gear that comes from, uh, what the fuck is this? Either 8.2 or Nazjatar, no, not Nazjatar, uh, fucking Ashard's Eternal Palace. These shoulders here that I think come from, like, Cataclysm or some shit. The helmet that comes from Visions. Oh, Holy uh, fuck. And then the boots uh, that come from okay. Allegiant. I see what the issue is. What? I know what the problem is here. What? Purple equals win. No, because a lot of his gear is in purple. Look, his arms are green. His weapon is, is orange. There's not even mostly... He's not even mostly purple. He's half purple. That's it. Yeah, it looks like a kid with toy weapons. I like this, man. You guys don't like this. You guys really being serious. You don't like this. I think it's fucking amazing. No, I do. I think it's really well put together. But you know what? I think we can both agree. And look at the chest piece here matches his leggings here, which matches his weapons. That's incredible. You can't see it because he's hunched over. Look at that. That's really cool. All right. Penetrated. You've got some very tough critics here in the audience. You've got to get on a mount right here that puts all of their criticism to bed. That shuts it the fuck down. That makes them realize that you deserve to win this. Please don't make me look stupid and get on a bad mount. Let's go, come on. I have no idea what you're going to get on. That's pretty good. I mean, like, you've got okay. obviously the... That's... I right. mean... With that... the mount, listen, with the mount, yes, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right. This is fucking great, man. Because for a second, I, I was I, I was like, wait, what the fuck for a second? And then I looked more into it. And like all of these like undertones that match his other pieces on a set, this is fucking amazing, man. I love this. Good job, Penetrated. This is one of the one of the best sets we've seen so far. This is incredible. Really good job. I'm proud of you. Zeron, the hand of a doll, the bad mama jamas. I will absolutely say, so those gloves are from Old Deer. These shoulders are from the first year of Legion. I believe that's the PvP offset. That chess piece there comes from Classic WoW. I think that's the Shadowcraft or some fucking chess piece. It actually could be Night Slayer. It could be Tier 1. I like that a lot. And then the weapons, of course, are the artifact weapons. I, I feel like this is decent enough. I, I do. I, I, I like it. I, I don't know. What what was it? What does everybody think about this one? No boots, no helmet. That's fine. He's a troll rogue. Zeron. I feel like this set is on the verge of being a basic bitch set. I feel like it's very, very close to being a basic bitch set, but it's not quite there. Please get on a mount that shows that you are not a basic bitch. To be honest, oh man, that's really fucking good. That's the Mythic Sylvanas Vengeance Mount. 
That is really, really Fuck. fucking good. Like I want I'm, that mount. So yeah, bad. I, I know, I know. We need to. We're gonna start running it. Like I'm gonna start running it. Uh, and I'm gonna give people like two more weeks to get gear, and then I'm gonna start running it. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard. Actually saved. Yeah, he actually saved this. Like it's really good. Uh, do, people want to see the mount special. A lot of people haven't seen it. Yeah, can you do mount special? Like to be on the ground, yeah, type it. Look at that, dude. That's pretty fucking cool, man. That is pretty, pretty fucking cool. There it goes, yeah, exactly. Alright, Zenron, I think this looks really, really, really fucking good, man. Nice job, congrats on the mount. That's a big dick mount. Good work. Alright, let's go to the next one. Akuma Hand of the Archon from the Guild Ghost Town. He's using, I think, some of the, is that the, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Man, ooh, that's, that's. Okay, this is an interesting idea. We haven't seen something like this before. I'm impressed by this. You know, look at that. So he's using, obviously, those shoulder pads. For anybody who doesn't know, uh, those shoulder pads right there, they come from uh, Antorus. And that's the, I think the shoulders on this one is the, uh, yeah, a big fan, long love melee. Fuck yeah, that's right. And uh, both of these are just different difficulties. And then, of course, the gloves there come from, I believe, Warlords of Draenor. I, I really like this a lot. This is fucking Dude, cool, man. That is creative as shit. Yeah, this is shit. really like creative. All right. Come on. Let's see it. Ice and fire. Boots ruin it, though? I don't think the boots are that bad. Hmm. Why? I feel like this is a terrible choice of a mount. I'm going to be honest. I think this mount is completely awful. Like, I, there's no reason you should be on this mount at all. I don't see the purpose in it. This is the Red Thundering Cloud Serpent. This is a super easy one to get. Look around the back. Okay. What do you mean? I don't get it. I, 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 I don't get it. The orbs? Those are just the orbs that are on his character. I don't Man, know, guys. Like, I just. So good. Yeah, How I know. It's that? just it's it's so creative and everything. I just I, I feel like the color scheme is a little bit off. Even though the base colors are the same, just like the intensity of them and the fidelity and everything, it's just it's just really very different. Like the shoulders with the weapons are so fucking good. You've got to come back and try this again with a better set, okay? You you really do. This is great. Let's go to the next one. You're colorblind? No, I'm not. Mask, Chuckle, or Tricep Sus. So we've got right there, that's the mythic set from uh, that helmet there. Is the mythic set from uh, Hellfire Citadel for Paladins. The chest piece and also the legs there are the DK set from Antorus. I believe that's the heroic version. The gloves are from the, uh, the gloves and the boots there are from the warrior set from Antorus. And then the belt is also from Mythic uh, Hellfire Citadel. And the shoulders are from Heroic or Mythic at the time. Um, Siege of Orgamar for Paladins. And then the weapon is, of course, Tashlak that drops from Ag I think this is decent. We've seen many, many, many Chaos Space Marine transmogs, right? You're trying to go with that, and I think the helmet and the shoulders are absolutely what you want to go with. What do you guys think? You guys just feel like it's just... It, it's boring? I just feel... It's... Listen. Obviously, it's creative because yeah. none of the... It's not, none of them are from the same set. It is right. It's it's very. They're all different pieces. It's just. It's so bland. I, I like you, even listen, dude. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. No, I I agree. Like it's just it's nothing. Like this is nothing. I I will I will not think about this set as soon as I get done looking at it. it it's a little bit boring. It's just ah. Uh, it, it's not that great. You know. It it's just. It's, it's just the helmet and the shoulders I think are fucking amazing and so is the weapon everything else besides that and maybe the belt too everything else besides that I think is just kind of like a little bit a uh, little bit like lame it's just it's it's boring it's, it's drab it's just you know weak let's see your mount come on let's go go on ahead
You can do it. I believe in you. I know. You're going to get on a bad mount. We're going to roast you for it. Let's go. Come on. Let's get this out of the way. You know what? Like, the Kulkaron Annihilator from Mythic Garrosh is actually not that bad of a choice. I, I oh, actually... Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. I, I, I do. I think so. Didn't want to be too flashy. Yeah. I, I think this looks great. To be honest, man, this is a set that I think is unironically saved by its mount. Like, the set itself was, like, really kind of, again, kind of boring. But the fact that you had the audacity to get on this mount with this colors... I really, I respect that. I think that's very well, uh, very well decided. Good job, man. Very good job. I'm proud of you. Nice try. You look good on the mount? Yeah, he looks very good on the mount. I totally fucking agree. Good job, Tricep. Oh, no, not again. I already saw... Wow. Wow. No shot. This isn't just a full set, right? No, no fucking shot. This has got to just be a full set, right? What? It's not a full set. The Cosmic yeah. Gladiator. Okay. He's got three pieces. And then he's using the weapons that's Cosmic Gladiator as well. Oh, man. It's just, it's so... That like, doesn't count. No. Oh, that, my God. It's so does count? good. It's so good. Holy shit, it's so good. Wow. I, I really, really like this a lot, man. Like, this is <laughs> fucking insane. It's not a full set, though. It, it isn't, but at the same time, a lot of the core pieces of the set are part of the set. Like, let's be honest. They are. The shoulders don't match. I don't really care. I think the shoulders still look good. Uh, I, I do. I think they still look good, and it's okay. And also, it's... I think this person is not using the fucking Cosmic Gladiator shoulders... And they're making it like, oh, it's not the same set. But it kind of is, isn't it? Because it's the same exact thing. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of the exact same thing in a way. But you know what? Belt looks off. Yeah, I think a belt's a little bit different. All right, let's see the mount. Herculon? Oh. To be honest, like, looking at this, the 9.2 gear looks really cool in this aesthetic. Like, it actually does look really fucking cool. Like, I I feel like this looks great. Like, yeah, fuck. I mean, there are so many pieces that come together with this that are pretty much a full set, right? It, it, it is. It's so, like, I just... Like, I, I really think it's, like, so close to being a full set. I mean, I just... Oh, my God. Like, it's just so hard for me to decide on this one, guys. It really is. Oh my god. Like, I will say this. Let's say it's not a full set. This is an absolute W set. Like, this is an incredibly fucking badass set. I love it. Yeah, this is awesome. Make him take... Yeah, this is actually a good way to look at it. Take all the pieces off. Take your... This is how we can tell if it's a full set or not. That's actually a really good way to say it. Take your bracers, your gloves, your belt, and, uh, and, and the boots off. I need transmog mount. Just unequip them from your inventory. Okay. All right. We're going to do that. Yes. Just unequip them from your character's inventory. Yes. You can do that. Put the helmet back on. The helmet is also Cosmic Gladiator. Put the helmet back on because you also have Cosmic Gladiator helmet. So how much different is this? You see what I'm saying? This is kind of the same thing, isn't it? Like, it, it, it's pretty much the same thing, guys. Like, yeah, there's not really much of a difference. I, I yeah, it, it's just... I, I, I don't know. Like, it's okay, but I do feel like it's so close on the line of being a full set. Shoulders? The shoulders are deceptive. The shoulders are the same set, but they're a different coloration which I consider basically the same set. Like, let's be honest. Let's go back over to the next one. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I really like this. 
Oh my fucking god. Sorry, Asmon, I made the switch to Horde. It's okay, everybody did. Uh, so, like, I mean, this weapon is fucking insane. Isn't this- is this the- is this just the Sargeras Spire, whatever the fuck? Yeah, Scepter Sargeras. Holy shit! And then you've got, obviously, that- that-, that this thing right here comes from Torghast. Uh, the shoulders there, that's- I believe those are Wrathful Gladiator shoulders from, uh, fucking PvP. Uh, right. in, yeah, that's really insane. Look at the chess piece, dude. Like, it, that's the prettiest chess piece from Antorus. Yep. With the helmet for warlocks from Antorus. This Wait, is what? fucking insane. Yeah, that's the warlock's helmet from Antorus. I think that's the LFR normal version, one or the other. Yeah, Grim sure. Inquisitor Death Mask. I mean, that's certainly not a preset item. Oh, yeah. This is fucking insane, man. I really like this. Please get on a good mount. Please, please. Here please, we go. Please, please. Wow. Okay. Can you do us one favor? Can you take off your back piece and then get on the mount again? Because I want to see what the mount looks like with your staff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, so we can see it. Yeah, that looks even better. Wow. Yeah, exactly, because it, it hides the back piece, or it hides the weapon if you have that type of a back piece. That is fucking insane, dude. That's obviously the Fallen Charger that you get from the Maw. We've seen this many times before. I fucking love this, man. This is insane. This is one of the better Warlock sets that we have ever seen. I like this a lot. Trace Sentinel? This is the Warlock version of that. Yes, this is fucking amazing. It's me, Reptilian, by the way. Reptilian, he was a warlock. Yes, I remember you. It's okay. Uh, I don't blame you for leaving. Yes, it's happened for many people. I do. Fuck you. Listen, Fuck Alliance you. is. You uh, stick it out. Yeah, he couldn't. A lot of people couldn't. It's sad, we'll man. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Like, what do you think about this helmet, man? It's a green. It's a green rogue transmog. Yeah. Well, well, no, but like, it, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, green. Okay. Yeah. Rogue. It, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's wow. the lead. Okay. So that weapon right here. These are the daggers that come from Hellfire Citadel Mythic. These gloves right here in the shoulders. This is from Tomb of Sargeras for rogues. Uh, this belt right here, I think, is from the Demon Hunter set from Legion. This helmet is from fucking Azul Amon. I just feel like the helmet is too low res. Like, I I just feel like it's way too low res, man. Hard to go after the next one? Yeah, that the last one? Yeah, that's definitely fucking true. Yeah, but it goes. It only goes if you're... I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really fit. <laughs> Mountain Dew Rogue. <laughs> that's about right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. Go out of... Let's see your mount. Come on. Hellfire Warg? Yep. Yep. That's right. It's exactly what I thought he was going to get on. Yeah, this is the mount that comes from, uh, Guff... Uh, Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, exactly. So, I, I thought this is what it was going to be. So, this mount right here comes from the, uh, glory of the Hellfire Raider. I think it's a decent looking mount, sure. But it's not that amazing, man. Ask him if his name is Kyle. Yeah, sure. If he plays Call of Duty, too. Yeah, listen, um, I, can I show one more mog? Yeah, sure, why not? Go ahead. This is a decent enough set that the helmet's a little bit off. I think the mount's just too oversaturated. I think for any other set, it would be okay. This one is just, uh, I don't know, man. This looks like a knockoff Street Fighter character, man. Like, the, look at Who's the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, look at the shoulders. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, the That's weapons Raiden. are interesting. I mean, I'll say that. It's Raiden? Yeah, I, I get it. A Mortal... Oh, is it Mortal Kombat? I forgot. I, 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 like, I forget which character's in which game, right? I do. I didn't play a lot of fighting games growing up. I only had, like, Smash and, like, a handful of other ones, and that was just about fucking it. So, yeah, let's go back over here. Um, yeah, this looks decent enough. Not amazing, but it looks decent enough. Good job. Wojak from the Guild Idiots. 
Wojak. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like, it's like, okay, so he's using, let's let's be honest here, right? So he's, is that the Sanctum uh, boots and gloves right there with the belt and the chest, sorry, the shoulders from Legion? I think that's the first, the first tier. And then the weapons that are obviously the artifact weapons. I think this looks pretty good, man. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah, honestly, I, I I like it. Like this, this looks pretty good. It's not two sets. It's actually three if you include the chest piece and the legs. Okay, uh, it, it's a little bit different. All right, let's see your mount. I, I like this. I'll be honest. I actually think this is a badass demon hunter transmog. Go ahead. Let's see your mount. Keystone. Oh. Honestly, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I, I really like this. I, I think that, honestly, this smaller mount with, like, his armor and everything, he's got, like, the maw armor and on it. This is really cool. Like, dude, this is badass. Panzer from Mob. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I knew that they're not part of the set. I, I knew that. I didn't know exactly where they're from, but, yes, I know they're not part of the set. Uh, look at his eyebrows. Yeah, the eyebrows are... Yeah, I think it looks pretty fucking good, man. I really do. I, I like it a lot. Good job, Wojak. I think this is really well put together. It fits really well. I think it's great. I actually like this set a lot, and I think you put a lot of work into it, and it looks decent enough, man. It actually looks good. Hopefully, he continues to, uh, you know, make some good sets, but I, I feel like this one's great. Like, you guys see what I'm saying? Like, you guys like this set? I, I think it's fucking great. Thank you. You're welcome. I think it's good. Yeah, I want to show off my transmog. Well, you're going to have to join the next time. Let's see the next one. This looks great, Wojak. I'm proud of you. Space Hero of the Horde. Using the shield right there, I think that's one of the uh, warmongering gladiator shields, or it could be the shield that comes from Tyrant Valhari in uh, Hellfire Citadel. Shoulders there again, I saw these before. These are the mythic uh, Siege of Orgrimmar shoulders for paladins. That belt there is just one of the random plate belts that you were able to get in BFA. And the sword comes from Tazavesh with the glorious tyranny enchant from what I believe is either Mop or Wad for PvP. With, of course, the helmet there from uh, BRD. I think you can get it from a couple of other places as well. I'm going to be honest. This seems kind of generic. It seems a little bit boring. I've seen many sets like this before. I'm not that impressed by it. I'm going to be honest. I just, I, it, it's just it's not that great. We've seen things like this already. Space, the sword's from Xerath Mortis. Oh, I guess like the base model was from, uh, uh, from Tazavesh. I don't know the individual colors. All right, Space, let's go. Let's see them out. Okay. All right. So this guy came over here, and he's going to brag about being a gladiator. I understand. I get it. Yep, it's fine. That's exactly, yeah, that's that's exactly exact, yeah. what he's doing. He's, he's flexing on being a gladiator. That's totally okay, man. It's totally fucking fine. But I would not say this is an amazing set or anything like that. But uh, it's okay. Yeah, and also Hero of the Horde. There's that. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. One second. Get back on your, get back on that tiger. Get back on the tiger. Get back on the Spectral Tiger. He doesn't even have the Swift Spectral Tiger. He can't even afford the Swift Spectral Tiger. He's flexing on the base Spectral Tiger. Armor's ugly, man. Do you have the other one? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> okay, I can't even kill myself. Yeah, I thought you tried. That's what I thought. Yep, there we go. All right, space. Nice try, but it's a little bit basic. Let's be honest. Let's look at the next one. Sindara. Hmm. Vinthyr, uh, one of the Vinthyr fucking uh, war glaives. Okay. Uh, heritage armor, shoulders, and chest piece. Uh, the Kieran Tor, or Kultiris, excuse me. Uh, Kultiris leggings, as well as the helmet there. This is certainly an interesting set. And I don't necessarily know if I mean that in a good or a bad way. But it's certainly an interesting set. I don't know how to believe about this. I don't know what to think so about it. I don't know. The Go gold in the uh, chest and the shoulders yeah. are way too... It's... That, those pieces of armor are way too vibrant compared to the gloves 
and the weapons and the boots, okay? So, when you look at this and you see the contrast between those things, yeah. that's what throws it off, right? Like, you can I, I kind of get that. away with it if, if the color is red, yeah. because it's a li it becomes a little bit more, like, uh, muddied or whatever, right? But yeah. between golds like that, it's never going to work. It's the, the, the difference is way too apparent. And it's just not good. It just doesn't look good, but maybe the mounts will save it. Let's see. And also the belt's a little bit weird. That's just like a random, like, 8.2 belt. Like, what's that? All right, Sindara, let's see the mount. Oh, man. Sindara. Jesus. Man, I've got to say, one of your shoulder pads has more pixels in it than that entire mount. This is just not good. I understand that you tried to do something special, and you failed twice. That's incredible. Like, this is really something special, Sundara. You've got to, like, I think go back to the drawing board, completely trash this transmog, and just start over. Like, this is just, it, it, it's fucked, and I, I don't, yeah, it's just the set's just, it's not there, man. It's just simply not there. Let's go to the next one. Oh. Gamma Shara. Been trying to get no comp forever, thanks for having me. Of the Iron Vanguard from the Guild Undying Loyalty. Okay. So those are the maces right there. I think those come from Hellfire Citadel. I could be wrong, though. I know the shoulders do. And then the cloak there looks pretty good, too. I like the cloak. I think that cloak comes from Legion Five-Man Dungeons. I kind of like this. This is like a fucking Death Speaker Shaman. This is badass. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, Dark Shaman? Exactly. I, I think so. It's every green shaman set? Yeah, but like I think the face armor and everything looks really good, too, with it. I think that's what makes it better. I will say, though... I think that you have to get on a really good mount. Yeah. Demo, you have to get on a really good mount for something like this. Because you, people are not wrong that we've seen more like... Honestly, that's pretty fucking good. That's the fucking... That's the battle bore from... Uh, what's that? Saber Stalkers. If you turn in like 5,000 of those little tickets. No, no. Wait, no, it's not. That's from something else. Where the fuck is this Yo, what one the from? hell are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, it's not. You're right, you're right. Death Tusk Felbor. Where the fuck is that one from? I forgot. You don't know? Death Tusk Felbor. Oh, my God. Where the fuck is it from? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, my God. You were in the right... Bu it's in the oh right ballpark. Oh, my God. I know, I know. I forgot where it's from, bro. I uh, actually forgot where this one's from. Uh, Holy shit. Is it Vol Jin? There's no way it was Volt. Ah, fuck. I forgot where this... Sorry, guys. I forgot where this boar came from, okay? Yeah, my bad. Hand of the Prophet. Holy shit, I didn't even know that. All right, well, listen. I, I really like this. I think that this mount is a perfect combination with your set, and I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I do, all right? You know, remember, it's been a long time since I've seen this Yo, one, that is right? really good, though. That combo Yeah, this looks great. Sick. Gamo, good job. How could you forget that one? Sorry, guys. Um, where is it? Sorry, there's just there's so many of these that I, I forgot the individual one. Yeah, okay. There, I thought, see, I didn't know you got two mounts. I thought that you only got the bird, but apparently you do get two. Never mind. Okay, guys, I was wrong. Let's go to the next one. Wait, oh, shit. Okay, give me a minute, guys. I've got to go back up there. I, I fell down. All right, there we go. We're good. Yeah, I, I thought I could jump over, but I had RP walk on and it didn't work. Pug, uh, Pug Overlord. Okay. So we've got ourselves a very, very basic set. We've got, obviously, one shoulder that comes from Wrath of the Lich King and the other shoulder that comes from the Wetlands. You've got the tabard, or sorry, the chest piece right there, which is the Orgrimmar Harness. That helmet there comes from Mogushan Vaults. The belt there comes from Warlords of Draenor uh, PvP. I think, actually, that specific version of the belt comes from Hellfire Citadel LFR. And um, I think also the leggings there are from, I think that's also... Um, I think that's from Wrath of the Lich King. I'm not 100% sure, and I know the boots are from ZA. Let's see the mount. This is a weird transmog, okay? It, it definitely is a weird transmog, but we're going to see what we've got going on here. 
Pound Fist. Pound Fist? What the fuck? Shao Kahn Mortal Kombat? What do you guys think about this? I don't oh. really know. Oh, Shao Kahn. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what? This is decent enough. I see, I like the mount variety today. Yeah, I think this is decent. Yeah, I'm glad about that. I think it's all right. Interesting, actually. Yeah, I think it's not that bad. And uh, he's using a St. Bernard instead of the Pug Pet, and his name is Pug Ward. Uh, yeah, it's a good point, actually. You're right about that. This does look decent, Pug Overward. I like it. And I think the mount, Pound Fist, is, uh, you know, it's a very overused, uh, overused mount for many people. But um, I think it works very well for your transmog. Good job, Pug Overward. I like it a lot. What the fuck? Arc Druid Shoe Mo Druid. What the fuck? What? Four of my X Mogs, but I only received judgment based on my first X Mog, one for every spec. Honestly, I think this looks really cool. What? I I'm gonna be real. Like, I think this looks really, really fucking cool. Uh, like the gloves work. Uh, I think the helmet works right there. I think that's the uh, the Tuma Sargeras helmet for Warlock. Or sorry for uh, what's it called? Uh, for Druids. He's got obviously the scythe there. Those shoulders are like monk shoulders, and then the chest pieces as well. I, I like this. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, this does look decent enough. Check pet name. Good point. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see the, uh, let, let's see the mount. I feel like the mount doesn't work. I'm gonna be oh, honest. Oh, no! Uh, I, I feel like the mount, I feel like this was such a good, this was such a cool transmog, and you just get on that mount, and it just really doesn't fit, man. It really just doesn't fucking fit. Yeah, the mount just was wrong. All right, Shu, let's see the other, the other sets. Let's go uh, mount look better on Stormwind. Yeah, that's what they all say. Let's go ahead and see the mount. Or no! sorry, the other sets. Yeah, let's see the other sets. Okay, that one looks pretty good. So you're a... Uh... All right, that's decent enough. I like that one. I don't know how... Trolling set? I like it. Yeah, it's a full set. I thought so. I don't really know. This is one of the new ones. I'm not familiar with all the pieces yet. I mean, let's be honest. It looks great, okay? It looks fucking great. It's designed to look great. It's supposed to fit together, and guess what it does? All right, let's see the other two. Yep, it does look badass. All right, bear mode. Okay, this is, again, pretty much a full set minus the helmet and the belt. All right, that looks, this looks cool. It does really look cool. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. It feels like he got on his worst set. No yeah, full set? Did. I know it's not a full set. He did. Yeah, he pretty much, yeah, he got on his worst set possible. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see the rest of it. Ah, the mount's a little bit off, I would say. I'm not really a big fan of that mount for this set. Let's see one more. Come on. Let's see one more. Chop, chop. Yep, come on. Okay, never mind. You didn't get on your worst set. This is absolutely your worst set. Jeez, I think uh, this one sucks. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I really do. Uh, but the other yeah. two looked pretty fucking good. Ah, actually, with this model, ah, you know what? Ah, Time Lost Perto Drake does not match at all. I'm going to be totally honest. It does not match at all. Let's go to the next guy. Oh, what the fuck? Burger Arms, Fame Slayer of Denathrius. Okay, you know what? I kind of like this. So we've got those shoulders right there. This is badass. So one of those shoulders is from the, uh, that's from tier 14 set, as well as the helmet there that came from uh, Heart of Fear, the TCG Tabard, the belt right there, the gloves, and also the boots there. I think this is all part of the Venthyr set, I believe, or Maldraxxus. I don't remember which one. It's one of the Covenant sets. Same with the other shoulder pad that he has. And he's using the Cloud Song Glaive that comes from Warlords of Draenor Challenge Modes Gold. I Yo, really like this. Can I say something? Go ahead. This is one of the best Hunter Mogs I think I've ever seen in my life. This is badass. Like, this is a set's now. Oh, it's an Athria one? Okay, yeah, I always get those confused because they're, like, very interchangeable. 
All right, Burger Arms, this is badass. I haven't seen anyone rock the Mythic Nathria set. Yeah, because that would require people to play the current expansion. Let's see your let's see your mount. Come on. Tabard's too vibrant? I don't think so at all. I think this is fucking badass. Ooh. The mall. The Wait, mall? What? what the fuck? I, who has anyone ever used no that? No one has before? ever used this one. And you know what? I actually think it's not that bad. Uh, I do. I, I think this is a it's a unique set. And I'll definitely say that. This is a unique set. Even if you don't like it, even if you're not into it, you have to acknowledge this is something unique. And to be honest with you, that helmet is one of my favorite helmets in the entire game. So I think it's badass. That's the truth. I think it's badass because of the helmet. Good job, Burger Arms. I'm proud of you. Let's go to the next one. Damn, I like that one a lot. Santi. If I had a uh, dollar for every single orc transmog or troll transmog that I had with the laughing skull helm and a bunch of tattered pieces of gear, like the Antorus rogue belt, yeah, and, and the artifact weapons that are bloody and everything, I wouldn't need to stream anymore because I'd be rich. Wait. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> I mean... Go ahead. No, no, like way more. Way more money. Way more money. Alright, whatever. Go ahead. Get on your mount, Santi. He says, sorry? Yeah, me too. Get on your mount. Listen. Horde. The, the, the Laughing Skull Helms are... It's... Guys, you have to you have to do something different with it. You can't just come in and do the exact same thing every fucking time, guys. Come on. Holy shit. Started playing last week? There's no way he started playing last week if he just got that helmet. Let me see. No shot, bucko. No shot. 21,000 achievement points last week. Shut up. This is a decent uh, waste marauder. That drops in an 8.3 Oldham zone from, uh, it's like Rot Feaster or some fucking, it's a buzzard. Okay? The buzzard is an interesting choice, but I don't think it's that great. Better luck next time. Santa coughs in with a hundred gifted community subs. Holy shit. Thank you very oh. much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Santa. Holy shit, that's a lot of fucking subs. Thank you so much, man. So I'm going to be honest. I like this because of the weapon. I think the weapon takes this oh from like... My. Wait, you don't like it? It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so over... It's so... Listen... Uh, listen, as a paladin, if I see this, I know you're bad. You're bad. You're bad at the game. You're terrible. If I see you, if I see you in this, you're bad. You're ter You're never gonna be good. You're never gonna be good at the game. This is awful. Awful. All right. Well, Santa Coffson again. Holy shit! Thank you so much for the gifted subs. God damn! Thank you very much, man. Holy shit! So what we got going on here right there, that helmet there, of course, comes from Mythic Emerald Nightmare. The chest piece is from Mythic T Trial of Valor. Uh, the belt there comes from uh, Tomb of Sargeras and sort of the legs. Boots there uh, also come from, I think, Mythic Tomb of Sargeras. Same with the gloves and also this one shoulder pad. The other one is from uh, Mythic Emerald Nightmare. Uh, this is the legs. Yeah, sure. Um, and then the belt there, I think, comes from one of the Legion reputations. I think it's like the Nightborn one or something like that. I really like the weapon. I'm going to be honest. I know, obviously, McConnell doesn't like it, and he is the resident paladin. So, uh, you know, that's kind of important. How can you like just because the weapon? Yeah, the weapon is the outline. I think the weapon outline gifted. looks really good. Uh, no, Santa Coffson, 300 gifted community subs holy shit thank you very much man i appreciate that thank you so much dude thank you thank you thank you god damn man listen all right i'm gonna be extra critical okay because listen the bronze in the weapon doesn't match the fucking gold on the armor okay it's a different fucking color 
they're not the same. Just because you you happened to match the outline of the purple to your fucking tabard and some and some piece on the armor, that doesn't make the whole fucking thing good. It's it's not good, okay? I can't believe people are falling for this bullshit transmog. It's horse shit. Any 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 idiot can combine gold and purple. Santa Goffs, Santa Goffs and donated another hundred subs. Thank you so much, man. I really fucking appreciate it. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Eddie. McConnell is not happy. Can you change his opinion with a good mount? Come on. What are you capable of? What can you do? Come on, Eddie. What do you think, McConnell? How about that? Get the kick, kick this guy. Just kick him out. I mean, he tried, right? I mean, he tried. I mean, he did. He did. He did. When he sank off with the hundred, wait, five hundred. Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Thank you so much, man. God damn! Thank you so much, bro. Wow. Five hundred gifted subs. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Wow. Eddie, you gotta you gotta come back and try again, man. You should have got on the lucid nightmare. At least the uh, the purple outline would have matched your mount or something, dude. Come on. That guy's deadly. That guy is. He is deadly. deadly. It's the deadly gladiator's helmet. Like that's wow. a yeah. Holy fuck, man! Wow, this is badass. God damn! Thank you, Santa, again, man. I appreciate that. I want to say, holy fucking shit! Wait, is now? Oh no, it's a, oh. it's almost. So the shoulder pad, obviously, the shoulder pad. We all know where this comes from. This comes from Mythic Battle of Dazara Lore for plate. Same with the weapon there. That's the weapon from the first boss. The leggings, however are from the Vinthyr set and not the Castle Nathria set. However, all of the rest of the pieces are all from the Mythic... Um, I, I think that's either uh, that's the Castle, Castle Nathria Heroic set, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I do think this is decent, okay? Weapon is bad. Well, it's normal. Yeah, but it's the same fucking weapon. All I'm seeing is from Battle of Czar War. Yeah, I think the uh, the Mythic one is like, uh, it's like yellow or something. I don't remember. Um, either way... All the rest of the pieces are pretty much from the same place, except for the helmet, which is the Deadly Gladiator's helmet. Leggings are- wait. Wait, the leggings are Nathria as well? Yeah. Yeah, oh they god, are. Oh god, I was wrong. Yikes. Oh my god. Yikes! Oh my god, he's using a full set. This, uh, yeah. Uh, oh my god, this is almost a full set minus the helmet and the one shoulder. Dude, we almost bat chested for a full set. That's not I mean, good. it's really cool. Like, I mean, let's be honest. It's really badass, especially with the face paint and the shoulder here. It's pretty cool. All right, please get on a mount that's cool, man. Please. Please. Don't make me look any worse than I already do. Come on. You can do it. The extreme. Come on. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, he's been discovered. He realized what happened. He's like, oh, fuck. They found me out. I thought they thought it was going to be cool. Fuck, man. Shit. I thought it was badass, okay? All right, cow. Oh, cow. That's clever because you're a cow. I'm going to be honest. I think this is really fucking cool. Uh, I do. This is a really, really interesting set. So you're using the Necro Lord shoulders and legs there. With that chest piece right there, guess what that chest piece is? That's the normal mode tier 11 chest piece for warriors. The belt there is Grievous Gladiator. The gloves and the boots there are Mythic Nighthold for DKs. And then the weapons here are the hidden artifact appearance for Fury Warriors. This Dude. is really cool. I'm, t Dude, I'm telling you right now, if this doesn't place top five, you're, you're nuts. You've lost touch. This is this is a, a this, this is, is not so. This is a badass so set. This is a really wait. We're gonna get kicked. Wait, what? The servers are crashing. 
Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Wait, why is there, everybody's everybody's getting disappeared? Oh no! Wait, what's happening? Okay, all right, all right. Let me invite you guys. Shit. Um. Okay. All right. Uh. Hurry! Uh, I'm I'm trying to invite people. Uh. Wait, where is it? I I can't. Wait, I Dude, can't hurry. invite you guys. It doesn't let me. Dude, it actually hurry. doesn't let me invite you. Invite them. Hurry! Like the they're servers are crashing. They're actually crashing. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, Aspen. bro. I can't invite you. All right, all right. There, I invited one person. Um, I, I invite, all right, all right, two, wait, in, request to join group. What's happening? This has never happened before. I, I, I've never had this happen. What the fuck? Uh, and I can't even leave the group. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. All right. Um. right, let, let's, holy shit. Oh no. Uh, the servers are going offline while it's crashing. Guys, Blizzard, this, this set wasn't that bad. You didn't have to shut down the whole servers just because the Paladin had a bad set, man. Like, it was, it, yeah, I mean, it wasn't great or anything like that, but, I mean, you didn't have to do this to us. Wait, Holy does that guy shit. stream on Twitch? What? Does that, does that Demon Hunter stream on Twitch? I don't know. Uh, I actually know he doesn't. He just watches my stream. He doesn't even stream on Twitch. Yeah, he actually doesn't. Look on VOD for names. Fuck, man. The servers are just going down. Alright, I don't know how long this is gonna fucking be. Oh, no. What are we gonna do? Um, I know what you can do. What? You can play the latest update to the Stanley Parable. The, uh, the deluxe version of the Stanley Parable game, which is a, is a, it's on, uh, Steam that you can buy right now. Is that a good game? Yes. Is it really? Like, like I don't know bogging. if it's a good game or not. They're bogging. I really? Mean, they're bogging. I'll look into it tomorrow. Or I'll, I'll look into it tonight. Yeah, I was about to DM it to you and recommend it. All right. I'll, I'll look into it tonight and we'll see what's going on. Yeah, listen to your friend. It's content. All right. All right. All right. Listen, I'm going to have to rate you guys before you... Wait, no. They're all disappearing quickly. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to rate this guy. Okay, so he's got another one of the basic transmogs. It's basically one of those, like, skull demon hunter type transmogs or, uh, survival hunter type transmogs from Wad. I kind of like it. Obviously, it's a weapon from Beast Lord Darmok as well as the shoulders and helmet right there. Yeah, Cranon, it looks really, really good, man. Let's go ahead and get on your mount as quick as possible. Quick, quick, get on your mount. Get on your mount. Get on your mount. Cranon, Cranon. No! Oh no! 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 <laughs> no, no, he's gone! He just got disappeared! Mr. Asman, I don't feel so well! Wait, we've got one guy left! Here! Person! Hurry. Quick! Penetrated! You've got a really good set, man! You've got an amazing set! Come on! Come on, you're still here, right? Penetrated! Penetrated, can you hear me? Penetrated, C come back. Come back, Where where's everybody, everybody else is gone. Where's everybody else? There was one, he's the last man standing? He won, he wins then. Okay, all right, he wins. Penetrated. There's been a long and hard transmog competition, Penetrated. You fought hard, you fought well. And among all others, Among all others, you have come out ahead, and you are the best transmog in this entire competition, guys. Clap, 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 yep, clap. let's give our let's give a round of applause for Penetrated, number one, number one in this transmog competition. He came in from behind. Yep, that's right. To be fair, I was gonna give this guy a placing anyway. I thought he looked really good. I liked it a lot. This was amazing. This was really, really good. Obviously, Blizzard has decided to shut us down. Okay. All right. So they've decided to shut us down. They didn't like me being mean to them in the transmog competition. Maybe they got pissed off that I watched the Mad Season video. I don't know. 
I can't believe this. Yeah, let's go to Final Fantasy 14. Their servers don't go down, right? Damn, bro, what the fuck? All right, listen. You guys had some great sets. I apologize for all of you that I wasn't able to get to. I think that we had some incredibly well put together transmogs. I'll have to go back and look and see all of the best ones. This Dude? sucks. Go ahead, what? Are you ending the stream? I, I, I'm gonna run ads, I'm gonna call the day, yes. To be honest with you guys, this could not have happened on a better day. I was getting a headache three hours ago, and I knew that if I postponed this transmog competition one more fucking time, I was gonna get Reddit posts about it. So I had to do it today. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it today, and I did. We did do it, and Blizzard decided to shut down the servers randomly. I have no fucking idea why.